So welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about ultrasound uh, in the face and the use of ultrasound in facial aesthetics. So Dr. Somji here has the Clarius device, which is our portable ultrasound device. Uh, let's start by sort of asking why do we use ultrasound on the face? Well, it's really a confirmation of technique. So we know that the techniques that we use are very safe. Uh, to avoid any intra-arterial injection or intravascular injection, should I say. But sometimes, tried and tested techniques are not always safe. So it's really there to map out high-risk areas before you inject and also to make sure the day-to-day -day techniques that you use are also safe as well. We also use it to remove filler so we, and examine filler. So if there's any problems that you have with infection or maybe you don't even like the look of filler, you can use it for that too. Uh, so you can use it to have ultrasound guided injections to dissolve filler or intralesional steroids for instance as well. So there's many uses and it just improves your practice. So it's really good just to keep using it. Yeah. And do we use it in all patients? I don't use it in all yeah. patients because oh. like I said, if you're a good injector and you know your techniques are safe, you would have mapped this out with ultrasound beforehand. Yeah, so that's a very important point. A lot of practitioners um, ask us, a lot of practitioners do consider uh, purchasing an ultrasound for use in clinic, for use um, in, with their patients, but actually it's not necessary to use in every patient. So if you know your anatomy, you know where to safely inject, but once in a while, not only to sort of map out the high-risk areas uh, for sake of reassurance um, of certain patients that might be considered high risk or may have had a bad experience in the past, and also sometimes to confirm position of the filler afterwards or to check that filler has all been dissolved in the case of uh, filler being broken down uh, later on. So um, yeah. it has multiple uses and multiple functions, but day-to-day -day use it is definitely not necessary. The risk of injecting into an artery is actually very, very low and even lower if you know your anatomy and you inject safely and according to sort of all protocols been designed for safety. So uh, this is Yasmin. She's had dermal filler before. We're just going to map the dermal filler to see where it's placed to make sure it's placed correctly. She's not had any problems and we're going to possibly have a look at some of the vascular structures that you might encounter um, when injecting. Okay. So what we switch to here is the vascular mode. So not only can we see the soft tissues of the face, um, but we can actually see the vessels um, flashing up in color, which you will see on the screen here. Um, quite important that we see where they are, but even more important how deep they are, because the depth of injection is what really matters when it comes to filler. Here we're imaging probably one of the most important arteries in uh, well, venous and arterial structures, so both your facial vein and, and arteries. Yeah. Do you want to kind of point that out for everyone? Yeah, so the artery is the, uh, the vessel that's flashing in red and the vein is the sort of slightly flatter one flashing in blue. The artery supplies the face and the structures higher up, um, splits into multiple branches um, and the vein actually drains the face and again splitting into multiple branches, both of which actually originate and return to the heart. Um, the facial artery is very important in injections of the face because um, its multiple branches pass through a lot of the tissues that we go through when we inject. So knowing where to inject um, is very, very important. There is a great deal of variability and a great deal of variability in the anatomy of where the arteries are and where they pass through, but the depth remains quite consistent. And um, knowing where they are and knowing the depth that it can reduce the risk to almost zero of injecting into an artery. So that is a brief overview of using ultrasound in facial injections. We'll be doing a lot more videos on this in, in the coming weeks. Um, it is very useful to use to map out the arteries and to map out high risk zones, but it's definitely not essential. In fact, it's not very uh, either cost effective or time effective to use every day in clinic with every patient. No, absolutely. It's great to learn anatomy as well. We can see, actually see where the facial vein, facial artery is, as well as any branches within that area, because it is variable. Um, as, as the facial artery ascends up the face, there's many variations that can occur, and it's great to mark that out. Yeah, and I see it as just one more tool in our arsenal of equipment and yeah. um, skills that we can use to uh, make the patient journey a lot safer and to make our injections more effective and ultimately for safer, uh, better outcomes in patients as well. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much. If you want to know anything more, any new kind of tips with ultrasounds, we're happy to even show you as well. So take care, click the link to subscribe and also click like too because we're always uploading new videos, aren't we?